Today I'm listening for the very first time to Fosia. Keep watching. Hi everybody, it's Christy Bovey with The Voice Love Company. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the little bell below so you don't miss a single video or when I go live. I write a love letter to my subscribers every Monday. Get your love letter in the description box below. Now let's get started. So I am finally getting around to listening to Fosia. This has been in my request list for quite some time from both my Patreon patrons and all of you who leave comments. I am late to the Fosia party, but I am very expectant that this is going to be amazing. Today I'm going to be listening to the song, You Don't Even Know Me, Let's Dig In. She's beautiful, wow. I walk into a crowded room Everybody's staring, what did I, what did I do wrong? What did I, what did I do wrong? Oh, you see what you wanna see But you don't even know me What did I, what did I do now? What did I, what did I do now? He said, she said, over it You're acting like you're brilliant But you don't know Yeah, you don't know What? <laughs> I was like, okay, really nice, rich alto voice. And then she makes the transition up into her high belt range. What a cohesive voice. She's so connected all the way through her passaggios, her, her bridges, however you want to say it. She's connected as she's going up through those transition points into that upper belt range. Wow, seriously incredible. Okay. All right. Okay. I can get behind this. You don't even know the way I care, the way I've grown. You don't know about the way I love so deeply to my bones. You don't even know me. Whoa. Off and brush away everything you say Cause I don't care, I don't care at all I don't care at all He said, she said, over it You're acting like you're brilliant But you don't know Yeah, you don't know What is happening right now? I don't even know if I should say this, but I'm going to. She reminds me of Sia, only she has better technique. I've gotten in trouble for talking about Sia before on my channel. In fact, you may notice there are no Sia videos because Sia fans don't like it when I talk about her. I love Sia, I love her music, but I worry about her vocally because of the way she makes her transitions. It's very shouty. And I think the thing that I'm seeing here in Fosia, is that how you say her name? I hope so. You can correct me down below. I am seeing so much connection. She just has this effortless way of navigating her entire voice. Her whole voice is so connected. And so she has this really malleable, flexible voice that will do whatever she wants it to. And it's such a cool sound on top of it. It's very unique. I did just look up that she's Canadian Moroccan. So she has those Middle Eastern-ish kinds of twists and turns in how she's making the sound. And that is such a cool thing. I really appreciate. You don't even know. You don't know about the way I 
was fabulous. Oh my gosh. Whoa. I loved so many things about this. Oh my goodness. Let's deconstruct this one just a little bit more. How exciting is it to find a brand new singer-songwriter first thing out of the gate in a new year? I think it's a good sign that this year is going to be amazing. I walk into a crowded room. Everybody staring. What did I, what did I? What did I, what did I do wrong? Oh, you see what you want to see But you don't even know me What did I, what did I do now? What did I, what did I do now? The song itself is super relatable. I don't know anybody who hasn't felt what Fosia is conveying in her lyric here. He said, she said, over it You're acting like you're brilliant But you don't know Yeah, you don't know one thing you can really hear about this performance is the way she isolates the chest register. When I first heard her, I thought, okay, this is a strong alto, true alto voice. And what she's doing is actually totally isolating that chest register, keeping it all in chest. You don't know a thing at all. You don't know And then she's able to navigate her way up into her mix register, again, isolating the mix. It's a mixture of the chest register and the head register, but it's got more of a spread this way, ah, kind of sound, ah. So you can see her on the way, it's very much spread this way, ah, that's gonna get you into that mix placement. You need to be there to sing that high with that kind of intensity. You have to have that sensibility. Otherwise, if you try to do it a little more head it's going to kind of go back in the throat a little more and kind of out the top of the head if you try to do it in chest it's going to sound shouty and maybe break up a little bit it's going to kind of split and be splatty there she is a perfect example of somebody who isolates her registers really well Whoa. I love this Moroccan inspired kind of flip and turn that she's able to make in her voice. I think that is so cool. And it's interesting to me, the cultural styles of singing. I went to college with someone from India and just learning about the number of scales that they have, the number of notes that they have in a scale. It's totally different from our American sensibilities and I love that. These cultural differences musically really need to be internalized from very young. For instance, I just listened to Sparrow on Christmas Morning by Marco Hietala. Well, the Finnish language has tons of rolled R. Everything's very rolled. There are so many Americans who cannot roll their R's. I think a lot of that is because we just aren't used to it. We haven't done it from birth. We have not been taught that way. It almost reminds me of the Islamic cantor singing over the cityscape. You know, you can hear those twists and turns in the music and in the prayer itself. It's just, it's so beautiful. It is really exciting. This is so fascinating to me. Let's listen to this part one more time. Whoa. Whoa. Then she comes back in with this isolated chest voice again. Walk it off and brush away everything you say Cause I don't care, I don't care at all I don't care at all I love the message of this song and I think that it is so cool to see a songwriter walking in their power, whether they're a man or a woman, but especially being a woman songwriter, it's just so refreshing and really lovely to see somebody conveying this message. He said, she said, over it, you're acting like you're brilliant, but you don't know, yeah, you don't know. She 
is delightful. I want to sit and listen to a playlist of her, her music, and I'm really appreciative of the stripped version. There's another songwriter that I've loved their stripped version of their music. Gavin DeGraw has a really amazing stripped album. His Chariot album is absolutely incredible and I do feel like the stripped version is so much more impactful so I've never listened to Fosia at all and I'm really grateful to be able to listen to her in this format where there's not a lot of bells and whistles it's just her and the piano it's the way she probably sat and wrote the song and so I can appreciate the impact that this has and, and again I just thank all of you for steering me in this direction I just feel like it's such a gift to discover a brand new singer and especially one who writes her own music and especially one who writes music that is impactful and empowering to people. I just feel like this whole experience has been a real gift. Well, that's it for me today. Like if you liked it, subscribe, and don't forget to share with someone you know loves Fosia. You can ask me any question about your voice in the comments down below, on my blog at voicelove.co, on Instagram at the Voice Love Company, and now on wizio.com. Get all those details in the description box below. Well, I hope your year is off to a great start. I'm really looking forward to making more content for you on the channel this year. Keep finding your voice. Keep making your sound in the world today. The world is waiting for what you and only you bring. And remember, you are loved. Bye-bye.